Um, so we're going to be joined in today's live stream by um, Henrietta from Cardiff Sixth Form College and Vicky from St. Andrews College, Cambridge. Um, we only have a restricted length of time, so we can only answer those questions that you know, first come, first serve basis, and those we have pre received prior to the live stream. But if there's anyone having any further questions, um, pop them in the comment section, send us a message um, if you don't want to post it on on social media for everyone to see and we'll we'll answer you right after the live stream so um we are streaming on uh, several pages but also apart from those uh, regular live streams and webinars we hold on our youtube channel you can find more than 150 videos on different topics um so if you ever miss out on any of our live streams um you would like to find more about you know, life in the uk or studying in the uk you can head over to our uh, youtube channel um and watch those videos so make sure you subscribe and like to our channel so you don't miss out on any so um i'm going to introduce you to our guests today so we have here vicky and henrietta can you introduce yourself please hello this is vicky from saint andrews college cambridge it's a school located in the center of cambridge we are within easy walking distance to the beautiful landmark king's college of cambridge university we offer gcse pre-a level a level and university foundation courses we have september and a january intake and we do offer scholarships to our students and uh, our a star to a rate is 74 percent we offer a fantastic medicine exam and we arrange a private cambridge university tutor for our top a level students for our foundation programs we offer 11 12 11 different pathways for students who are looking for a fast track to go to top uk universities all right, thank you very much. Yes, hello everybody. My name is Henrietta Lightwood and I'm the Group um, Marketing and Admissions Director for Cardiff Sixth Form College, in fact, for, for all the Duke's Education Colleges. And as Vicky was saying, St Andrews is an absolutely fantastic school. Um, so the school I'm going to speak to you about today is actually is Cardiff Sixth Form College. Now, Cardiff Sixth Form College is actually the top school in the UK and has been over the past um, 11 years. Um, so they have incredible results in their A-level and their GCSE exams. So there's two pathways, really. You can come to GCSE for a two-year or a one-year course or you can come for a full A-level course and everything at Cardiff starts in September. So in terms of results really I mean I mean Cardiff is unsurpassable and really it's for bright students who want to go to top universities so 99% of students will get A star to A, 100% will get A star to B, um, about 17% a year go on to Oxford and Cambridge and um, there was 26 students on to Imperial College, 26 on to um, London School of Economics for instance 32 on to University College London which are known as the G5 universities. So if you're looking for a kind of a top school, which is going to get you to a, a top university, Cardiff is probably the right choice for you. All right, thank you very much. Um, so in the comment section, I have received, you know, our representative asking a question in, you know, for other students from, from watching from Facebook. So asking, can you share any um, A-level results from last year? I know Henry and I already mentioned some of the top schools student went to, um, you know, a student studied A-level where they, you know, proceeded on to or any uh, success stories, basically. <laughs> So at St. Andrews College, Cambridge, in year 2020, our A-level A star to A rate is 74%. Our A star to B rate is 91%. So uh, I'll show you the progression rate of our recent A-level student progressions. You can see that we have students who progress to Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial College, Warwick, Universal College, London. So... Um, yeah, so we have very high progression rates and we have a special program. program. It's called Extension Program. So for the top A-level students, we not only offer students scholarships, but we will arrange them an extra tutor from Cambridge University to give them that extra push to help them to go to the top UK universities. All right, thank you. So anything you would like to add about Cardiff Sixth Form? 
Well, I suppose the thing with Cardiff Sixth Form is that not all of our students will necessarily go to UK universities. So, um, yes, they'll, they'll go to UK universities, but quite a few might also go to US universities, for instance. So we've had students go to Brown, for instance. We've had students go to Great Northwestern. Loads of different kind of, you know, colleges, New York University, um, you know, University of California and Los Angeles, just depending on where they want to go. Some will actually go to places like Hong Kong University or the University of, of, of uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong if they want to do things like medicine, for instance, or architecture, and they want to go back to kind of Chinese universities. And um, occasionally, in places like Southeast Asia, for instance, people will want to go back and study dentistry in Thailand. For instance, sometimes they want to go to one of the Vietnamese universities. So it really depends. The important thing, and both St Andrews and Cardiff does this really, really well, is that we're very individual in our approaches to students. So really, we look at the student, where they want to go, what subject they want to study, how can we help them get to where they want to, and we have personal personal tutors at both of the colleges, for instance, and house parents who help students on every step of their journey towards their goal at university. Great, thank you. So I've seen I have a question from a student here and a student is asking, so what are the IELTS requirements? Okay, at St. Andrews College, Cambridge, for September intake, if you are looking for an A-level or foundation course, the minimum English entrance requirement would be 5 to 5.5, but we prefer to take students whose English level is above 6. So we do offer scholarships, 20%, 35%, 50%, even 75% scholarships uh, to the top fantastic A-level students who might have a much higher uh, English ability and uh, a much stronger academic performance but the minimum entrance requirement would be 5 to 5.5 .5 for September intake and 5.5 .5 to 6 for January intake and students who are under 18 years old if they are studying a level they don't need to necessarily take the out examination they can just take our three hour online English internal test if they uh, if they achieve that similar result and our internal English test then they don't need to take the out examination for both college and entrance purpose, scholarship application purpose, and a visa application purpose. But if students are studying foundation course, then they must take the UK VR out for the visa purpose. All right, thank you. Same question to me. Well, at Cardiff, the, um, the IELTS requirement is uh, 6.5. Um, and the reason being is that you're doing four A-level subjects at Cardiff, because again, as I said, you're trying to get into the very, very top universities. So, um, so the competition is very, very high, for, particularly for places in terms of medicine or architecture or law, engineering, economics, those kinds of very academic subjects. Occasionally, we'll take people who have IELTS 6 into our August precessional course, for instance, if they've got good subject um, marks in their entrance papers. Um, but generally, we're aiming right at the top. And the point that Vicky made is quite right, actually, really. Um, if you're looking for top universities, you do need a good command of English. You know, if you come in and St Andrews, are, you know, will try and help you as much as possible on something like an IELTS 5 or 5.5. But it means that you're going to have to work very hard at your English um, you know, to, to make up the gap, because most universities are looking for at least 6.5 in terms of students when they actually want to join them. All right, thank you very much. So I have our Thai representative asking questions from her Thai students, or basically for, I guess we can do them for all of our students. So what documents are needed to apply to study or how does the general application process look like? So at St. Andrews College, Cambridge, when students apply, they need to submit the registration form, they need to submit their passport copy and the recent three, three years academic uh, transcript. And also they need to pay for a 350 pound registration fee. And then we will arrange them to take our internal tests. We have one hour math test, one and a half hour scholarship test, and three hour online English test. For the top students who are looking for a very big scholarship, we will arrange them to do an extra scholarship interview with the principal and then we should be able to issue the offer with scholarship information after they've taken all the tests. Yes, it's, um, it's an interesting one. So the really key things actually when you're applying for most schools in the UK is the first thing you do, as, as Vicky said quite rightly, is um, we need a copy of your passport, we need your most school, most recent school report, and we actually also need your birth certificate. And the reason being is that those three documents are always required actually um, when you go forward in terms of your, your visa. 
Um, most schools will ask you to register. So that generally means filling in a registration form and paying a registration fee of some kind. And then the next stage, absolutely right, is that you will take entrance exams. Now at Cardiff, if you're coming for GCSEs, you take English and Maths, and it's a really good place to come in, particularly for Thai students, actually, sometimes whose English is not as strong as some other kind of Southeast Asian countries, but GCSE is absolutely ideal. And more and more, I'm looking at top universities like Oxford, who are also looking for GCSE results. So if you go to Oxford, for instance, um, they look back at your GCSE results to see how well you've done. Obviously, if you're coming through the Thai curriculum, um, you're, you're not doing GCSEs generally, unless you're at one of the Thai international schools. So really, really consider coming, coming at GCSE level if you're aiming particularly for Oxford and Cambridge or some of the top US universities. If you're coming in at A-level, um, you take the four subjects that you want to study at A-level plus an online reasoning test um, and you have an interview and the interview is very very important it's generally quite informal it's not a scary process it's an idea a, a kind of like an element that we can get to know you as much as you have the opportunity to ask us questions and again it means we can kind of listen to you we always conduct the interviews in English for instance so that we have again an idea about how good your spoken and your listening element of your English language is thank you all right thank you very much and the next question is from a student. I know Vicky and you've already mentioned something about scholarships, but how high are the you know, percentage of scholarships and what is needed to actually achieve those scholarships? Okay, and St. Andrews College, Cambridge, we offer 20%, 35%, 50%, and 75% scholarships. The scholarships are discounts for the tuition fees, and the scholarship will be offered for both years if they have a very good results. If they can achieve like three A star or three A's for the first year of A-level, we will be offering the scholarship for the second year. So um, in order for them to get a 20% scholarship, normally students need to have an English level at least six and they need to have a very good academic results and they need to achieve um, a very good result and other internal tests as well if they are looking for a 35 percent scholarship then normally their english level is at least 6.5 or 7 and they would have um and they would have like at least like eight out of ten for their academic uh, performance and they need to achieve very very good results in the internal tests and for the 50 percent scholarship normally students need to have English level at least 7, 7.5, and they need to achieve fantastic well results in all the internal tests and very fantastic um, school uh, reports. And for the 75% scholarship, we have a very limited space of the 75% scholarship. So they need to have English level at least 7.5 or 8. They just need to be the top student in their school. And um, Currently, and St. Andrews, we still have space available for this September intake with scholarships available. So, uh, but we don't have too much space left for the very high percentage of scholarship. So, for any students who are interested in having a very good scholarship, I would recommend the students to submit their applications as soon as possible. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, St. Andrews is absolutely fantastic at offering scholarships. And if you are looking for a scholarship, I would really, really recommend that you do look at St. Andrews because they're very generous with their scholarships because they're really trying to encourage good students to come to them. At Cardiff, scholarships are slightly different. They're offered completely on academic merit. And the scholarships are up to 50% off tuition fees. So um, you're very welcome to apply. You take completely different papers. So in taking, instead of taking entrance papers, you take scholarship papers, which are harder, if you like, than your entrance papers. And you, again, for your A-levels, you take them in the four subjects that you want to study for A-level. And really, you're looking to get above 70% on these tests to get a, a good scholarship. Um, we look at every single application individually. So, um, so if you're getting kind of really good kind of, you know, 80, 90 percent in your scholarship test, you're a very bright student and we would certainly be looking to offer you a 50 percent scholarship. But however, we do grade it. So if we've got someone who are not quite so good, they're looking at kind of 60, 70 percent, for instance, but we think they've got real potential, we may offer them a slightly less scholarship. And again, you would really be looking at you need IELTS 6.5 for your A-levels. We offer no scholarships at all for GCSEs. Right, thank you very much. That does sound really nice and um, something I'm sure lots of students look forward to. Um, so I have another question come up here asking about um, the proportion of international students. 
Okay. St. Andrews College, Cambridge is an international school. So the majority of our students are international students, but we do have a good number of very capable British local students like Ben, our graduate in 2020. Uh, he's from Cambridge and he graduated from, uh, to Imperial College to study physics. So we do have some very good quality British students as well. For our international students, we have a very rich nationality mix. So we have students basically from the whole world. We have students even coming from like a Slovenia, a Croatia, Albania, so uh, uh, Azerbaijan. So you will be able to meet students from all over the world. Yes, it's exactly the same with Cardiff. Um, it's a completely international school and we absolutely celebrate internationalism. But we don't want a purely British school. We want people from around the world. It's much more important in terms of growth, in terms of looking outward, in terms of developing culturally. Um, so we again, we look for top students from around the world and they come from about 45 different countries all the way through Asia, a lot through Europe, a lot through Africa, some through North America, some through South America. So all, all over the world, really. Um, and it is very important. You know, young people these days are not just going to be working in their own home countries. And having that exposure to people from around the world is absolutely vital. I um, in boarding schools like St Andrews and Cambridge. I mean, you live in fantastic boarding houses. You mix with lots of students from all over the world. You develop friendships that will probably last you for the rest of your life. You'll be able to go on holiday to Slovakia. You'll be able to go on holiday to Vietnam, to China, to wherever it is that you want to do. But you'll also have really good networks, really top people just like you, who are going to get very, very good jobs in the future. It's the first stage, really, in terms of networking and your future career. Yeah, that really does sound amazing. So um, a question that gets asked a lot is basically how does your school prepare the student or prepare them um, for university for their future? So at St. Andrews, uh, like I've mentioned, for the top A-level students, uh, we have a special program. It's called extension program. So you will have a private tutor from Cambridge University who is focusing on the same majors that you wish to apply in the future. So for example, if you are currently a year 10 student in Vietnam and you are thinking of going to Cambridge University to study uh, mathematics or Imperial College or UCL, then the benefit of you studying at St. Andrews is that you will be studying in the center of Cambridge, which means um, you can attend all the public lectures being organized by Cambridge University within very easy walking distance. And you can go to Cambridgeshire Library with student um, St. Andrew student ID card. You can uh, you can read the books, borrow the books, the same benefits as Cambridge University students. And also in at St. Andrews, we have very small size of class teaching. There are on average only four or five, six students per class, which means you have that enough attention and support from your teachers and every student will have a personal tutor from St. Andrews. So every week your tutor will meet you to discuss your academic development. If you think, oh, I'm quite struggling with this specific subject, your tutor will be talking with your subject teacher to offer, can we offer you like extra tutorial sessions to help you to catch up. So there will always be in like very individualized support for every individual student. And also for the top A-level students, the, the, the good thing of them studying at St. Andrews is not only because of the small size of class and the Cambridge um, potential resource, it's also because they have that extra um, Cambridge University tutor. Like uh, last year, we had a student who was um, very interested in going to a medical school. So we offered the student a, a Cambridge University tutor who was also studying medicine to meet our students every week to help them with medicine exams, interview preparation. So we make sure that that our students have that um, support they need to progress to their dream universities. And it's very individualized support. You can approach to any of your teachers, to the principal, to, um, to your tutor, and everyone is always here to happy to help you and offer you that support. Thank you very much. That does sound very helpful and amazing. Okay. Henrietta, can you 
speak about yes um yeah it, so so preparing for university really um starts at the beginning of your um your first year of a levels and it's um it's at least an 18 month program depending on whether you're applying for oxbridge and medical school which is slightly earlier so you have to apply by the 15th of october every year every other university is by the 15th of january so what do you do well at Cardiff, you do things like one-to-one -one careers interviews, you uh -huh. do tailored advice and target setting, you go through the whole UCAS process, you know, how, how you actually kind of, you know, set up your UCAS, basically, to really what kind of courses, what kind of modules, and you do that all with exactly the same as St Andrews, a personal tutor who helps you right the way through the process, right the way from looking, say you want to study engineering, what kind of engineering, we look at all the different engineering courses, we look at all the different modules between the engineering courses, so you can actually work out, do you want a practical engineering course, do you want a theoretical engineering course you want chemical mechanical pharmaceutical aeronautical whatever it is so we actually narrow it right the way down with you with you um, we do study skills we do mock interview practice we have timetable preparation for admissions tests things like the bmat the lnat tsa step pnat there's group discussions there's practical workshops there's subject specific talks by experts including university lecturers admissions tutors there's things like curriculum based trips to enrich your kind of subject and your careers knowledge we also as St Andrews does as well we're both part of Duke's education we have workshops from Duke's education's Oxbridge medical and US application services we take students to university open days for instance we hold university open days at Cardiff we have Oxford coming here Cambridge coming here US universities coming here Canadian universities coming here we have guidance on the common application process for Europe S universities. We have huge amounts of support from our sixth form alumni, for instance, who come back um, every year. And we run a two week um, prior to the start of term at the end of August um, help on how to write your personal statement. And we bring back our alumni, we bring back Duke's education so that by the end of that two weeks, you have that personal statement absolutely nailed, ready outside of your academic work. In addition, we've got lots of work experience that happens. So we have enrichment and work experience in October half term and February half term. And we run international work experience programs in India, in Malaysia, in Tanzania. And we also run an international work experience program for our GCSE students in Europe, which normally in non-COVID times goes to Holland, it goes to France and it goes to Belgium. All right, that does sound very amazing. So we have, I think these are actually all the questions that we have received. Um, obviously, if there's anyone who started watching the live stream uh, later on, this live stream will be available on all of our social media channels for you to watch and um, share with your family or friends or anyone you think we might be interested. And if anyone still has any questions, uh, feel free to you know, call us or send us an inbox message on our social media channel and we will advise you and gladly help you with your application to I call it six form and entries. Yes. I think one thing that people are always interested in is how they're living. Mm -hmm. So I was going to say, maybe Vicky could tell you a little bit about what the boarding yeah. is like. And, and if I start at Cardiff, I'll give yep. you start at St Andrews in that case. Right, Sorry, right. Stephanie. Yes. Um, that would be fine. Uh, because I think that's a really important when you're traveling abroad and, and you're going, you know, how, where am I going to be living? Am I going to be safe? What, you know, how am I going to be looked after? They're really important questions, not just for students, but also for their parents. So, yes. um, Vicky, do you want to start on that? Maybe that would be helpful. Yes, um, and St Andrews, our students normally would live inside of the whole residence. We would divide each whole residence based on the gender and their age. So uh, there will be a house manager who will be living together with the students. So the house manager will cook for breakfast, will cook for dinner, make sure the students wake up on time, go to sleep on time, and help with the laundry and help with the weekly cleaning. Our students are very happy with the food. I understand that it it could be quite a t it could be some students that might be thoughtful about the food experience in the UK but all of our students even the students coming from Vietnam from Thailand they all gained weight after they have arrived so our students they are very happy with their boarding experience um, after their lessons they would join the school uh, activities because we have about 12 to 15 different activities arranged every week so it's very easy walking distance 
to the school to join different activities, to play badminton, to go swimming, play football, basketball, and some of our very ambitious students they would turn they would to join they would uh, like to join the uh, public lectures organized by Cambridge University as well. So all of their whole residences are within very easy walking distance to Cambridge University different colleges. They actually have one residence called Hills Road. It's just on the opposite of Homerton College and Cambridge University. So just across the road for you to go enter uh, Cambridge University College. And um, so food is not a problem. It's um, it's very it's very comfortable. It's single and twin on suite. They ha you have your independent bathroom and a shower inside of the room as well. And um, I also want to add a little bit of information about our foundation because we do have a lot of students who are very much interested in doing a fast track course to progress to a top UK university through a foundation course. And we do have many fantastic students coming from Thailand, coming from um, Malay, Indonesia, Vietnam who did our foundation course and who progressed to fantastic universities. We had a girl from Ho Chi Minh City, her name is Hannah. She finished year 11 in a local school in Ho Chi Minh and then she joined our economics foundation pathway. She only finished year 11 and she was so happy in our school and she did so well. She eventually progressed to King's College London to study business management for her bachelor degree and then she a progress to uh, LIC to study business management for her master's degree. She's now um, considering taking a job offer from the United Nations. So uh, she's our student ambassador. She's based in Ho Chi Minh City. So any student, if you are interested in talking to our alumni, Hannah would be more than happy to talk with you. And we have some so many students who are currently studying at our school. They are so happy with their boarding experience, studying experience, their friends who will sign up to come to St. Andrews as well. Well. So it's a school that all the students, they feel very happy, they feel very looked after, and um, they, they feel they are very much supported, and um, and it's also very international, and very welcoming atmosphere, and our students, they all, all, always get very much supported to go to their dream university, and they are being very looked after well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's, I, I totally agree. I mean, I actually, funny enough, I visited two of the St Andrews boarding houses yesterday and felt exactly that lovely, homely family feel. And I was given homemade cakes when I was there. I mean, it really was absolutely lovely and shown lovely letters that past students have written up to their house parents about how much they've loved it. They felt very looked after. So I absolutely agree with what Vicky has been saying. The boarding at Cardiff is different in many ways. Um, it is, um, they have three very big boarding houses. They're all single ensuite bedrooms. They're run by boarding staff. There's medical centres down below, there's common rooms, there's music practice rooms, there's art rooms. It's all basically on site. So it's, um, you know, and there's a whole range, as there is um, at St Andrews, of different activities and social events that go on. So, you know, for drama, for sport, every student is a member of a gym, there's football clubs, babbins and clubs, basketball clubs, volleyball clubs, a whole host of that kind of stuff. Duke of Edinburgh, we do modern United Nations, um, Young Enterprise Scheme, European Youth Parliament. And then there's kind of swimming and art and photography clubs and futurism and journalism and um, NASA space settlement design competition. So whole host of different things that goes on to complement the academic provision. And both Cardiff and Cambridge are absolutely fantastic cities to be a student. Now, Cambridge is very famous, obviously, uh, from a student perspective. It is home to the number one university, for instance. Um, and it really, you walk down the streets in Cambridge and you feel inspired yourselves. The buildings are stunningly beautiful. There are people punting down the river. There's people sitting out in cafe, beautiful cafes and bars. There's students sitting on the grass. It's a really intellectual city. Cardiff is a capital city city again it's a big big student city it has three big universities at Cardiff um, it has fantastic waterfront developments lots of wonderful shopping cinemas bars restaurants they're both very lively cities Cambridge again is not very far to London so you can easily get in and out for exhibitions as well as attending those fantastic Cambridge University lectures and at Cardiff particularly there's very good links again with Cardiff University particularly the medicine department I would say but again fantastic engineering lectures law lectures links again with the local community in terms of help help with kind of work experience charity volunteering all those kind of extracurricular things so when you come to, to either one of these schools you don't just have an academic you have a completely fantastic fulfilling career developing and and char 
character building education um, with some fantastic, very, very talented, supportive teachers who are extremely experienced. So, um, and as Vicky said, great, if you want to come for a one year, do a fast track course. The St Andrews Foundation has a massive range from arts to sciences to humanities um, of things that you can do. And is and it's a great, great opportunity for those who want to do a fast track course. It's done in a very nurturing environment and you can go on to a whole host of Russell Group universities. And Vicky will tell you exactly what the percentage was, but I think it was over 80 percent, Vicky, wasn't it? That went from your foundation yes. onto top Russell Group universities last year, which is unbelievable. Yes. Um, in year 2020, we have 87 percent of the students who gained a place at the top 20 UK university through our foundation course. We have a wide variety of foundation pathways. We have business, economics, humanities. If you are not clear, if you want to go for a business degree or a fashion design degree, so humanity might be the right choice. And we have law and we have international relations. We have psychology, for our psychology, we have humanity psychology and a science psychology. And we have science, we have engineering, we have art and design, we have architecture and we have media. So uh, especially for our art and architecture foundation courses, because those courses can be quite subjective and our students, they always aim to go to University of London. Universal Arts London. So what we do is we arrange them to take an extra A level, AS level fine art subject. So we we not only train them to work on their portfolio. They have um, on average four or five, six students per class. They have their personal tutor to give them full support. They help them with portfolio. But additionally, they can take a, a relevant A-level fun art subject and they have their national results as well. It's going to be tremendously helpful when they aim to apply for the top UK universities. We actually also had a boy from Nigeria who did our architecture foundation course. He was so ambitious and he actually took a math and fun art too actual a, uh, AS uh, level a level uh, subjects and eventually he gained a place at Princeton University in the United States from our architecture foundation course so um we also have some fantastic students who studied our science foundation and who were like, oh, I really wanted to um, to join the national mathematics competition. We were like, OK, we can add you to our existing A-level students group so we can train you as well. You, we can sign you up to take the national exams as well. And also uh, we have some students um, who, who missed the September intake. Like uh, literally two years ago, we had a girl from Vietnam, like she really wanted to go to King's College London, but um, she was considering that option in November. So the only option was January because she didn't want to waste her time. So for students like her case, St. Andrews would be an ideal case, ideal option because we yeah. offer January intake. And our students, when they apply for university, they apply through UCAS application system. And our foundation is accredited by NCFE. You can have a look of the uh, most popular universities that our foundation students, they would progress to. So um, for some students, even if they miss uh, the September, they can come in January, they can still apply for Edinburgh, Durham, Bristol, King's College, London. And that girl eventually she progressed to King's College, London through our January intake foundation course. So that would be also a very good opportunity for students who miss the September intake. But personally, I would always recommend students to come in September so they have a relatively longer time and they give us the school sufficient time to help them to prepare for university yeah, yeah. wow thank you so much that that really does thank sound you. amazing yeah so thank you thank you too for joining us i think um, there's a lot of people who viewed this or you're going still going to view our live stream um, who might be very interested in joining um either of the two schools so if anyone has any more questions um contact us and we'll gladly help you or advise you more on your specific um, situation and what school fits both best for you and um, yeah feel free to share this live stream with anyone or this video um, with anyone who is interested and I'd like to thank the two of you thank so much for joining and sharing yeah, more information about your college 
Real pleasure, Stephanie. Thank you very much. And I think we've both got kind of, you know, quite active YouTube channels. So the Cardiff one is at CSFC official, for instance. So again, you know, we don't just have kind of videos. We have lots of kind of student made videos so you can actually see what the experience is like and actually really kind of look at it. Um, our website is www.ccoex.com and there's, you know, all the kind of ways in which you can apply on there if that helps. And, and Vicky, do you, do you want to kind of let them know about admissions for you? Yes. So uh, if uh, if you are interested in getting more information, our website is www.standandrewscambridge.co.uk, and we also have a very active YouTube channel. And um, I've all I've um, if you want to get know more uh, stories about our alumni sharing their life stories, we actually have a girl coming from Vietnam last September. She was sharing her studying experience. She was so happy, even though, though she had to do the ten days quarantine. And and uh, we uh, please speak with Stephanie. Please speak with the staff we will be sharing all that video with you and um, we currently still have spaces available for this September for our foundation and a level course so if you are interested in applying please speak with your counselor and uh, we will arrange you to take our internal test and uh, we will be happy to see you in, you in Cambridge all right thank you very much and thanks to everyone for watching this video thank bye. you very much Stephanie bye bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.